Hey, it's Tony Talking Carbiz, part two on the 2024 Toyota Venza. Hey, in this video, we're gonna dive inside, check out the interior features. Watch for a link at the end of this video for the exterior overview. Here. Let's get started here on the driver's door. So this one has the black and gray interior and there's a lot of fabric actually on the door. So this is all soft tech fabric here, all stitched together. You can see the stitching here. So it's, it's, it's a kind of a faux leather, but it feels awesome. It's just not a, a plastic door handle here. And then there's this little braided accent in here. So attention to details, really great on this vehicle. Uh, a satin silver door handle, some more trim here, and then kind of a faux carbon finish on here. So like I say, a lot of details in the door to give you that upscale feel, look and feel. Bottle holders down here, speaker in the door. It does read Venza right there on the speaker as well. But uh, just a really nice design to there. There's a puddle light down here on the side as well. And then as we begin to look inside, you'll notice we have, these are illuminated threshold plates, so those light up at night. The limited edition comes standard with power seats on both sides. So the driver's seat, forward backwards, power recliner, power lumbar support, and it's a four way, so in and out and up and down control on your power lumbar support. These seats, they're the soft tech fabric seat. They look and feel like leather, but they're not. They're, they're kind of a faux leather. They're ventilated, they're heated, perforated with more of that stitching. Really nice, com comfortable seat with a nice side bolster on here. We've got height adjustable headrest. We've got height adjustable seat belts. And then we also have the airbags built right in the seat. So as you slide the seat forward, the airbags move with you for optimal position for safety. The uh, fabric on the door continues up here on the dash with that braided trim right here. So this is like a fabric braid, more satin silver. You've got four vents across the front, one here, of course, one way over there, and then two here in the center console. Down on the limited, you're gonna see the buttons are pretty much all spoken for. Dimmer switch for your dash lights, automatic high beams, traction control on and off, 360 view for your 360 view camera, heated steering wheel, and the power gate release. Then down here we've got our, our fuel gauge or our gas door release, hood release, footrest, brake, and accelerator, right where you would expect them. And then the limited, in addition to having uh, the power uh, tilt telescoping steering wheel, the limited comes with the memory driver seat for two, two drivers, full power windows, door locks, mirrors, and then power retracting outside mirrors. So these mirrors using this switch, you can actually fold them in. So if you have a tight parking space, it's a great way to protect your mirrors by folding them in. Let's go ahead and grab a seat. On the interior up here in the driver's seat, this truly is a premium SUV. Uh, it has all the toys, all the bells, all the whistles, but it also is just really refined in terms of the comfort and convenience uh, features. So we do have that heated steering wheel I mentioned before, power tilt telescoping steering wheel, fingertip controls for cruise control over here, radio controls here as well as over here, Bluetooth connectivity and voice activation for your smartphone, and then these are the controls to control your instrument cluster and your information center. Of course, there is a driver's side airbag here. I'm gonna go ahead and slide my seat ahead I've got it all the way back. Oh, let me show you before I do that. Let me show you how much legroom is in this bad boy. So it has a lot of legroom. I've got the seat all the way back. I'm five foot seven. I would not be able to drive this vehicle with the seat all the way back. I think if you're a six footer, you should be just fine. And of course you can program that seat so it automatically remembers where you like it. You get in, push the button and everything comes alive and moves for you. So as far as controls off the steering wheel on this side, these are your wa washer wiper controls for front washer, front wiper right there. And then over on this side is where we have our headlight controls. So we've got automatic high beams, also automatic on and off. We also have your LED fog light control is right here. So your light controls are on this side, wiper controls are gonna be on that side. Now, 
Let's go ahead and fire it up so you can see this instrument cluster. It's super cool. It is a, well, before I do that, I want to show you, we've got push button start. So because I have my key, the keys for it in my pocket, I don't need to take them out. I just need to put my foot on the brake and push the, the bu power button here and it will start up. Here we go. Now I'm gonna close that sunroof shade to maybe give you a better perspective of what this looks like. Uh, pretty darn cool. It's a full 12.3 inch vertical or horizontally uh, arranged screen. This side is all the information on the hybrid system, your battery, your fuel economy, all of that's gonna be over here. And then on this side, we've got our, our speedometer, our fuel gauge and our trip information. And then we also have the digital speedometer in the middle there. Um, and then using the controls that I showed you over here on the steering wheel, I can toggle through some of that information so I can get it to display what I want it to display on, on a variety of uh, places here on the, ga the gauge cluster. So let me back up a little bit. And if I go over, you can see I can actually change things up quite a bit using the controls right here on the, um, on the steering wheel. But really clear, super colorful too. Lots of uh, blues in there, it looks really great. As we uh, look up here on the dashboard, the limited, sorry about that, the limited has heads up display. So there's a little box right here. It's projecting on the windshield. You might be able to see it flashing a little bit, although video doesn't show it off real well. But basically up in there, we've got our uh, compass, we've got our speed, we've got our um, road sign detection will show up there. Uh, if there's ice on the road, it'll tell you that as well. Let's head over and take a look at the center stack the center console turn that temperature down a little bit so this is the largest um, uh, multi-information center that they put on here so it's a, a again a 12.3 diagonal uh, setup um, and it's all finger touch except for the volume on the radio and the on and off bu button so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on I'll turn down that volume a little bit and we'll go over to the English. So Toyota now designs all their own software and hardware for this, so it works really, really well. I'm only, only gonna be able to show you a couple things on this because it's it's a brand new vehicle, hasn't been programmed for the first owner, but I did wanna show you, um, jump over here. I wanna show you the sound system, get over there. So we've got, of course, AM, FM, Sears satellite radio. It's Apple CarPlay wireless, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa compatible. Also, this is your JBL audio system. So this has the upgrade on the speakers and also has the subwoofer back in the trunk. We'll see that later in the video. But it's a really excellent sound system. Of course, you be the judge, come in and give it a look and a listen for yourself. Now I'm gonna shift into reverse so that you can see the backup camera. So this is standard on the limited. We've got an overhead view because we have multiple cameras around the vehicle, right? It also has path projection. You can see that on there. And there's a lot of other stuff that would be best for you to come in and take a look at. But that 360 camera is really, really vibrant, really clear, really easy to uh, see as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in the park. Coming down the center uh, stack here, heating and air conditioning controls, front driver, front passenger, automatic temperature controls, front window defrost, rear window defrost, and when you push that button, it actually gets the ice off of your outside mirrors as well. So heated outside mirrors. I'm gonna continue down the center here. We've got more of that satin silver trim, some of that faux carbon finish that we saw over on the door on the armrest there, similar right there. I'm gonna go ahead and shift this in the drive so we can see all the way under there and then I'll throw some light under there here. So way down underneath here, we've got three different USB ports, a couple of USB-Cs here, charging ports, phone ports, and then wireless charging. So you can drop your phone right there and wirelessly charge. And it's also, of course, Bluetooth connectivity. So as soon as you drop it there, it syncs up with your radio and you can do your voice calls really super easy. Here's our parking brake, here's our brake hold. We've got drive mode, so we've got an eco, normal, and sport mode. I wanna show you what that looks like on the gauge cluster. So up here on the gauge cluster, you can see as I toggle through there, it's red for sport, it's kind of a cool animation. And then if we go to the, to the next one, uh, that's going to be, I believe that's your normal, yep, that's your normal, kind of a gray. And then when we go to eco, it goes to a blue. So you do have a visual indicator on the, on the gauge cluster what where you're set but you'll definitely feel a difference in the performance as well 
Um, and then we have EV mode, EV mode right here. This is not an electric vehicle. EV mode is designed for going really slow, like if you're in a parking ramp. It's also helpful if, let's say, you, you pull into your garage, you're listening to a podcast, and you want to finish it, but you don't want your car running in the garage. You can put EV mode and, and finish your podcast, turn it off, and away you go. So it's not designed for driving at high speeds, slow speeds, or if you're just sitting in an idle vehicle. Take a look at our center console. We've got two huge cup holders here. More of that soft tech fabric. So this is all fabric through here. Real nice, uh, kind of a stubby little shifter. Great place to rest your hand. Um, then we have heated seat controls here. Ventilated seat for front driver and front passenger. Uh, they're exposed right now. And what I mean by that is if you take your armrest and you slide it forward a little bit, you can cover it up and get more arm, more arm on there. This is big enough for two arms, but then if you need to adjust those, you can just pull it back and bring them uh, so that you can see them. But underneath here is where you're gonna find more of that faux carbon finish right here, a storage compartment, and there's also a 12 volt uh, place to plug in down here as well. So up front, you have a total of five different places to plug in your electronics. And then you just slide that right back into place and away you go. Quick look at the passenger seat, identical to what we saw in the driver's seat. We do have a passenger assist grip over there. We do have lighted vanity mirrors on both sides with visor extensions on both sides. Um, this one has the uh, Stargaze roof, and I'll show you what that looks like. So there's a button right here. If I hit that button, it's gonna open up that roof. Now that's not a sunroof, it's a fixed clear roof. And the stargaze kind of gives it a frosted look, so the sun's not directly coming in, which I would really appreciate because I have no hair on the top of my head, and it keeps my head from getting ball, uh, burnt, but it does bring in that extra light. Now, if you want that extra light, if you want to see through it, there's a button, it's right here, and when you push on it, watch what happens. It becomes transparent, and now I can see outside. So that is a really cool feature. It's a $1,400 feature. It's not a sliding sunroof. It is the Stargaze roof for $1,400. I love it because it really brings a lot of extra light inside the vehicle. And if you want that natural lighting, you can go ahead and do that as well. So I would definitely get it if I'm going on the limited edition. That's me personally. So overhead, what else do we have up here? We have our door lights. We have our Stargaze controls. We have... Um, Safety connect if you need help out on the road push that Toyota will get your roadside assistance We've got the top-of-the-line Toyota rearview mirror. This is really cool This uses one of the cameras on the back and so if I flip that switch Let's see which way there now you can see it's a it's a video screen It's like a television screen for seeing out the back and of course you still have the old school But what I like about this is obviously it's got a wider angle view so you can see more when you look out but if you have passengers in the back seat, their heads don't become a blind spot because this is actually using a camera off the tailgate. Really cool, you have to come see it. And then underneath here, three garage door openers for your home link garage door system. So a lot of goodies on this. I love the attention to detail. This is a premium SUV. This is all fabric on top, feels nice. We've got a nice glove box down here with of course your owner's manuals on the glove in the glove box. So just a lot of attention to detail. The more you look, the more you like when you get inside of a Venza. Let's go ahead and check out the back seat. So as a compact SUV, that hatchback comes in super handy to be able to load and unload cargo, but notice how high it goes up. That is programmable. You can program the height of it so that if you have a low garage ceiling, it's not gonna open up and damage your, uh, your deck lid. So you can set that up when you get home. Now, big wide opening across here, largely un unobstructed. On the limited edition, the cargo cover comes standard. It's retractable, as you saw there. It's also removable. I can just grab a hold of it like this, slide it out, pop it in, and away I go. It is designed to fit underneath the floor, or you can just stow it in your garage if you don't want to use it. Again, the back windows do have privacy glass, so it does add some degree of privacy without it, and that doubles down if you need that extra privacy. The other thing, again, going back to attention to, de to detail, these thresholds are actually aluminum threshold plates. They're not plastic. It looks really nice, and they bleed over into the side as well. Just a nice touch in terms of style and upscale feel. LED light back here. 
We do have the 60-40 fold down seat, so I got 40% there. I've got 60% up. And to fold it down, really the best way to do this is to come up here, grab the handle. Notice I didn't have to take the headrest out. It falls down without putting the, pulling the headrest out. And then take a look at how much space there is now. You could put a uh, probably a single air mattress in here if you want to do an overnight camp trip or something like that. Now I mentioned JBL audio system. Here's that subwoofer, part of the JBL system. Uh, I want to show you underneath here. Let me just set this aside here. So your cargo area, let me show you what we've got. It's completely flat, which is really great. Largely unobstructed little carve outs here. But then down underneath here, take a look at this. Look at how much room is in there. If you have to stow emergency equipment, jumper cables, maybe a blanket, maybe a, a tool kit, it's a great place to put it. Temporary spare tire, tire jack and all that is right there, ready to go. And take a look on the back side of it. See those little pillows? That is more of that attention to detail they're trying to do. So that's helping to reduce road noise by adding that sound deadening material underneath the floor. So again, they've spent a tremendous amount of time looking at the details on this. It is a premium SUV. This one is the limited edition with the extras, the Stargaze moonroof, the uh, factory floor mats, this color 425 extra. This one comes in with a list price of 46,700 and some change. And it is available for sale at Smart Toyota in Madison. So let's uh, wrap this one up and we'll get started with the, ex the exterior video in the next video. This is Tony talking car biz. Thanks for watching.